One other thing I want to mention, Pat said something there that, that brought it to mind, uh, that they brought up in our eight hour update or six hour update for trainers. How many of you have a older student trained in pulling your parking brake in case you have a medical emergency? It's very few of you. Now, that's what we need to do. I had Pat and Dave, they were guinea pigs. They went out and, and actually did this procedure of what, 35 miles an hour? 45 miles an hour. Pulled the parking brake on the bus. It didn't stand it on its nose, it just slowed the bus down a little slow. To come to stop. Now, if you're driving slower, it's probably going to be a little more harsh. But that's something to think about for two things. To stop the bus in case you have a medical emergency. Also, they need to know how to operate the radio in case you have a medical emergency. So find that student on your bus, that regular student that's there most of the time that you can trust. They need to sit toward the front of the bus and explain to them why. Don't scare them. Just say, in the unlikely event that I have some kind of emergency, your job is to pull this yellow button and that will stop this bus. And then, if I can't talk on the radio, you will need to pick up the radio and say this, they just teach them to, to call for dispatch to bus number and what the nature of the emergency is, and we'll go from there. So that's just one other thing to remind me. So that Dave is gonna do uh, railroad crossings and uh, critical situations. Dave Randy, give him Randy.
we don't, as they pointed out, we don't all have a route that has railroad crossing. But you could be on a field trip that has a railroad crossing. You may be a substitute driver on a route that has a railroad crossing. So it's very important that you follow these procedures for the safety of yourself and your kids, obviously. Now, 